Hi, my name is Zoran Salopek, and first of all, I would like to explain how and why this series called Metaphysics was created in the first place. It was an amazing trip. It took me forever to gain this knowledge, plus four years and tens of thousands of dollars to write a book, Ego, Love and the Truth, and based on it, to film and present to you the knowledge that was given to me in 2017. Although I'm aware that free is not appreciated, I wanted to give this knowledge as a gift, because I would like someone to give this kind of love to my children. The greatest things I can receive is that you comprehend this knowledge and live it, and maybe try to offer it to someone else. I'm very passionate about sharing this knowledge because it came with an obligation to pass it on. If we apply it, it can bring changes that we have been waiting for a long time. My goal is to demystify and simplify awareness and spirituality, erase the boundaries between businessmen and spiritual people, psychologists and coaches, because we are all the same and we all seek the truth. Only beliefs can separate us. My goal is to change the social narrative that selfishness and egoism is okay, that it is normal to live a life driven by ego fears. The goal is that maturity becomes sexy, to become cool and brave to show your weaknesses and insecurities. I will start first. My goal is to show that materialism is weakness and immaturity and one of the biggest diseases of modern society. To stop the hatred, the envy, jealousy and vanity that arise from this weakness. My goal is to show that beliefs are the same weakness and the most deadly manifestation of the ego. All wars and conflicts came from beliefs. Beliefs about who is worthy and not, what is right and wrong, or what is the God's name. There is no such thing as good belief. Beliefs are pure immaturity. My goal is not to pass on these same immaturities to our children, to protect them from it. Just to teach them the right values. There is nothing mystical about it. If we want to help our children to live in a better society, we have to change ourselves. Children learn more from what we are than what we teach them. My goal is to show that it is important to do what is true and right and not to live up to social expectations. Because as long as other people's opinion is important to us, we will ignore our path and our soul. We ignore it as if we don't have it. And then we wonder at the suffering, depression and anger we feel. My goal is to show that this same suffering is unnecessary if we just accept reality and don't live in an illusion. If we let go of egoistic need for control, all our suffering will disappear and maybe we can really learn that skill of love. That is why we have this gift called life. If only we have the courage not to hate, not to judge and not to have an opinion about every damn thing. And that courage will lead us to health, better relationship, personal and business success and self-realization. Because the knowledge that brought us to this step will not take us further. This is the moment in history when we must continue individually and as a society to the next step of social development and turn to the overcoming of our own ego fears. And that's exactly what's happening. People are no longer ready to subordinate their whole lives to acquiring material things that should give them social value. They are not ready to submit to ideas imposed by society. They want a greater meaning than the satisfaction of their own ego. They want to have freedom to create for the benefit of themselves and the environment. It's not just me that matters anymore. We are important. Let me help you by showing you how to recognize and overcome these ego fears and let's face them together. So look, whole point of this series is not just to talk about how great is awareness and life in the moment, but more important, how to get there step by step. Not only that, goal of this series is to answer all the questions that metaphysics has asked throughout the history about our meaning and purpose of life, ego and love, free will and self-realization and this school called life and the universe. It is important to note that I'm not expressing my opinion or attitude. I'm only passing on the truth that was given to me and that can bring clarity and peace to everyone as it did to me. I'm not a good speaker. I'm not even a good writer. 
I'm just a man who wants to show what love is and that we all deserve it if we only have the courage to fight our immaturities. And that will lead us to clarity. Clarity about us, our souls, and this theater called life. I wish you many enlightening moments in the series Metaphysics. I wish you many enlightening moments in the book Ego, Love and the Truth.